Welcome back, guys, to Trails of Cold Steel 4, where last episode, after learning the Aorus Coaster Road was over to explore, we moved instead to check out the damaged Merkaba before returning to the Courageous to take on our next quest, clearing the airwaves. Heading out to rendezvous with Louise and Tatiana to check out something interfering with communications and finding broken archaisms affected by Black Paroma grass as the cause. We then continued to explore the first area of Aorus Coaster Road, finding a cryptid awaiting us as we fought the tectonic cataclysm Jilverglyph, earning the lost art Grell Palas before continuing a bit of the sweep, checking on Alan, Titus Gate, and now Palm, before we return to the Coaster Road second area. You may find it hard to believe, but I've been called on to join the army as an engineer. They must be desperate to draft an old man like me. My shop will stay open, so don't worry about that. Mr. Gullard promised to look after it. He's gone too. It makes sense for him, though. Mr. Gallard will be looking after my shop while I'm gone. It might be inconvenient for my customers, but when the army calls, it's not like you can say no. He has the right to conscript their subjects at any time. Bertrand asked me to look after the place until he returns from the war. Securing supplies is no easy task, but I've got good neighbours who will let me buy some from them. Kadan started helping out recently, but he's not here at the moment. He said he was going to go into the church with Clover. I thought that that previous time, by the way, was the... Uh... I'll buy one of them again. Longest time we spent sweeping. But it now like, seems like, haha, hold my beer, this chapter said. Hold my Stein Rose indeed. There's literally no one else on the streets. The old lady's not walking around. They conscripted her too? You see fewer and fewer men in Palm, and yet the conscriptions continue. At this rate, it'll be just women, children, and the elderly here. Mr. Gallard is stretching himself thin helping everyone. I wish I could do something for him. No new extra dialogue there. Gallard's taking over the tavern while the owner's away. Did you hear? I've got no doubts that he can manage it, but I'd be a damn shame if he let his dying skills get rusty. I like having him with my arch rival. Nothing changed for me. I dye threads and fabrics day in and day out. How are you avoiding it? Do they just know you're quite an angry person, so they just don't bother, like, he'd be bad for the army's morale. Don't bother with him. Of course, no one's in this house, because he's down at elsewhere and that's palm more or less those people are getting impatient they want to know when our campaign is going to start it's not like we were standing around twiddling our thumbs and now we've been told to stay here and wait await further orders though same all around probably frustrating to build up all across different regiments I'm so tired of me and station here let's win this war already so I can go back to Heimdall what if Calvin were to actually pull themselves together and attack us here and if they did, we'd crush them easily. Nothing there. I just read, like, we have still not... Uh, oh, I see fish in the water. Yes, Reen. We've still been... We've swept, swept for, like, I think it's three hours and 20 minutes more in just this session. And I have not found a book since reading the last book. Usually, these are the times when we're sweeping and have to sweep this many places. Of course, we've still got Requel and Ulster, but still... Father Hobbins has been keeping our morale up with his inspirational sermons. Adios will provide guidance for us if we would only seek her. My faith is strong again. Dear Adios, please look after the children of Palm. All the kids are in here? Yep. May Catan's father return home soon. May Catan be able to find happiness. Father Hobbins has taught me lots of stuff about Adios and old legends. I'll do my best too, even though Dad can't be here for a while. I probably cry sometimes, but I'll do my best for my dad's sake. I sat with the children listening to Father Hobbins' stories all day. Story Day is a public reading of tales based on Adius' teachings arranged for young children. <laughs> they both look so at ease listening to them. Father Hobbins was so wise to think of this. Father Hobbins let me pick a few stories to read to the children. Seeing them regain their energy like this makes me feel like it was really worth taking the time to carefully consider which ones. That's gone, but Clover and Miss Garley are still here. I'll do my best too. Mr. Gellart. Well, well, have you come to join in on the story, eh? It must be utterly incomprehensible for children to lose their parents to war. I'll try reaching out to them, maybe it's in fashion at the very least. 
must be other. Oh, no double dialogue. So that was palm. Swept in no time at all. Let's go back then to Oros Coaster Road. That new list is dwindling. Dwindling so much. We're just getting there. Finally. There are new enemies on this road compared to the other one. Now, still the sparrows and more. Well, let's pick up our treasure chests. And get our goodies. There! Finish this swiftly! Fight our enemies sneaking up from us from the side. Crimson Slash! I was wondering if I could block Let's that guy, go. but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, Law is completely out. Hit Ready. Locked and loaded. Fire away! I'll take a free impede. Sure. Machias is very, very good at just completely conking someone, isn't he? Hmm. It's beautiful. Down. It's my turn. Laura gets more just from that. A nice confuse. I got this. Hm. Ready. Laura's already at 77. There. They're down. And that's my BP back. It's mine. Didn't know you had it in you, Mr. Inspector. Well, someone's got to keep you delinquents in line. How many people does Machias consider delinquents, though, really? Guess he's used to dealing with that type as well, thanks to Patiru. Huh. Huh. Wide open! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Yeah! Get him, Ash. That's not a proper smash. Let's go! It's my turn. No one's doing the good stuff. Cut through. Leave it to me. There. Thank you Here. for getting me some BP there, Mackie. It's mine. Right, at least the Didn't assumption is, of course. You, Mr. Inspector. Inspector. Da 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 da. Inspector Mackie. Da 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 da. Hey ya! Now's our chance! I forgot what I was gonna say! <laughs> Let's go! Raging fire formation! At least I'm getting my CP back, and I'm pretty sure that's what I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure that at least we've kind of got past the point if we were gonna find. Cut through! It's down! Another big monster on this highway. Because let's face it, we just fought a cryptid Leave it to me. just a little bit back there. I don't think we're fighting another one. Locked and loaded! Fire away! Yeah, Machias just... Machias just breaks. Give me something to break! I got this. Yeah! It's down! Take this! I'm up! Shit! Who's the next Divine Knight fight again? Everyone okay? I think the first rivalry is... Rutger, right? But it's been so long. <laughs> Rush to from Machias and Ash. It's literally been so long. <laughs> yeah, target is Rusha. Huh. I just I missed the stone easy. there. Let's go! Raging fire formation! Crimson Slash! It's down! An opening! Nope. I'll handle this. Successful Laura yeah. Clonk is good. Now, let's continue onward. You didn't finish it. I guess at least with Elliot at the party, someone else has to. Huh. 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 Ready. There we go. Get my charge gauge back just in case. So there's a path off to the right, a path off to the left. Remember, this is a completely new area as well. Huh. Inaccessible in previous Trails games. So that's got some intrigue to it. Huh. Let's wipe them out. 
I'm still waiting for where's my golden palms at? Let's go! Raging fire formation! Do you think she'll kill the ball? No escape! Hey! -ya! It's off balance! An opening! Let's go! She definitely tried her hardest. That guy's fainted, that guy's pretty much out too. Cut through! It's down! Green just death blowed someone an instantly opening. revealed all his CP in the blink of an eye. This guy's not going down though. Hm. I'll target you. Yeah! Take this! It's my turn. That thing's a critical, he's gonna wake up in a ha! second after all. Here! It's mine! That takes one more off the board. I won't forgive you! <laughs> Unforgivable! Well, that's lower CP. My turn. Hm. I'm up! Crimson Slash! Ready. That's game. Let's go! Raging Fire Formation! Ready. Take this! Spam, normal I'm attack. Up. Shit! I got this. Huh. My turn. Hit. It's my turn. Ha! No problems. Let's continue. Interestingly, we didn't get one unbalanced during all that. Sad times. Alright, so what secrets are we looking at on the beach? Enemies, sure. That's not what we Let's necessarily want. We will fight them though for our usual. Let's go! Raging fire formation! One fight based experience gains, but. Cut through! It's down! An opening! Where's all the treasure chests on this I'll nice new this. road that's not had all the stuff plucked from it as of yet? Azure Cleaver! Yeah. Now! An opening! Pass! Ready! Take this! Woo! The coast is clear! Well, let's see if we can continue leveling up Minor Doris even more over time and making Laura even more powerful. There! Right, my true goal! Finish this swiftly! Only two! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Roar! <gasps> uh, healing strike! Let's go! Huh. Hmm, I didn't know whether to get harder on him or not. Now, he's this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. Of course, I wanted Leave the break. Take this! They're down! It's mine! Leave it to me! But he stood up and started fighting again. Take this! Really fast. It's my turn! Huh. You actually got an attack in, too. My turn. Oh no. Huh. Sure. He's dead. Huh. Huh. Done already? How come he didn't attack? I didn't think I had something on it to stop him. Shit. Right, so is this the fishing spot that's mentioned? No, it's over there on the blue market. Is there a person there? Because there's two fishing spots. <laughs> a fish. There. Got a bite. We had a Mackie do the fishing, actually, couldn't we? <laughs> nice. I don't know how much Dynafil I even need. I got it. I guess if I'm fishing any spot, I should probably fish that other spot. I, I, I pretty much Got a bite. The, the assumption is that this spot here can't have <laughs> nice much different stuff than orders in general. Usually a spot will have one extra fish after all. Unless I've missed one. Not bad at all. A pink hazel fish was not new. But it gives money! So, all in all, that's not a bad fishing spot. That was like 900. What are you? 
There's a trial chest. Shit! There's lots of big fish here. Green Elisa Fianusis. So this is going to pair up another green ability. I see a powerful enemy. Ooh. Take caution. A powerful foe. Ready yourselves. I will. I'm just looking for the... Where's the rock? It looks pretty tough. This one's strong. Be We're careful. Not single advantage, I guess. Stealth Skulk Sharks. Roar! Gold Dragon Formation! That's gotta work. I think I can helix. Oh, wait. Ah! Go pump! Second form. Damn! I got this. Okay. We can also hit them with big water if we want to for that freeze. But if I switch out Ash, we can hit them with big fire instead. Tag out. I'll do my best. Big fire. Analyzing enemy unit. Analysis complete. Shot the prowl the interdimensional borderlands can conceal its presence all the better to stalk its prey. My turn. Gives Cross Crusade. I leave it to you. I'm up. Ha! Let's bring forth the sun. It's my turn. Must be a burn power there. Switch with me. I'll take over. Right. <laughs> now. Keep it up. Our lore is in the middle now. What are they doing? An opening. Oh, they pop out and yeah. hit someone for an absolute crap ton of damage is what they're doing. I mean, I'd like to break them, really. So if I'm looking at just this Sorry, take over. Leave taking it to care me. of some guys on this turn, then that would really work. Locked and loaded. Fire away! They're down. An opening. Sure. You're mine! It's my turn. They're a bit nastier than I'd like to admit, really, aren't they? Crimson Slash! It's down! It's mine! I'll handle this. Hit. Is that all? They hit for you quite a bit. More. When they went under and came back up, that was nasty. All right, three cross crusades were obtained. Ooh, a treasure chest! And we get Aegis Master Courts. You mean I didn't already have that? Aegis? Attract enemy's attention. So if I want to pull someone to me, like for example, if I had someone who did countering. Oh. Hmm. It might be time to build A nice ranged counter. Maybe Operation Yuna gets a master build finally goes to work. Oh, this is nice. Alright, well, there doesn't seem to be any rocks anywhere for me to break to be able to attack these guys in anything more than a single advantage. 
This one might be worth my time. We start with a group of three. Now we'll go into the group of two. Roar! Gold Dragon Formation! You're mine! Yeah! An opening! Let's go! Roar! <sighs> Healing Strike! It's down! Got to try to build my BP at the same rate, right? Let's go. One's confused. That's pretty good. Right. It's off balance. Take this. Ugh. I thought you were attacking it's your friend then. Turn. She's been sealed. Switch with me. I'll do my best. Our enemy's on a break. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm out of range for it. Can I choose to switch again? I want to switch out again. That's not gonna move the break. They're not confused That's anymore. Nice. She just got resealed. My turn. That guy's going under. Sorry, take over. Leave it to me. Uh -huh. Come on! I believe! Locked and loaded! Fire away! I got oh, this. Laura now cannot counter, so that's a bit of a problem. You're mine! It's down! Faints are pretty handy right now. An opening! Let's go! Roar! <sighs> Helix strike! Now! It's mine! Let's go! How did I not miss? I leave it to you. I'll do my best. Alright, well they're both got, so. Let's go! Take this! It's my turn. There! I don't feel like my MPs I have helped this. me whatsoever. It's down! And it worked out. An opening! Now that's teamwork. Great job, Ash. As if. This was nothing special. Now love of you, day. <laughs> I grew a little. Yay, I made someone salty in the chat again. <laughs> Alright, so we need to heal up. My choice is a per personnel. I feel revitalized. How dare I preferentially treat anyone? <laughs> it's not what's being said, by the way. Oh, this one might be worth my time. So there was one, two, three. I started with the hardest group first. Why did I do this? Why do I hate self? Go berserk! Infernal hunt! Roar! Uh, healing strike! It's down! It's mine! Sure. Ha! I just wanted to look in further to see if there was a blooming rock. How wrong was I? Very 2k yeah. off that, ain't so bad. Sorry, take over. I'll take over. She, yeah, she said he asked you to. Right! Big smash! It's off balance! That was only off take balance. This. It wasn't a critical. Leave it to me. Locked and loaded. Fire away! Got him. I got this. I'll take another cross crusade, thank <laughs> you very much. 
done already? Laura and Macus level up to 123. <laughs> I did it! I must continue to train. The terrain is pretty unusual here, don't you think? Well, that's actually because this is a marine cave, carved out through erosion by the sea. Okay, welcome. There! So this is where there's a special fish. Got a bite! This is promising. Wow, <laughs> okay, I chose the exact right time to feather again. Wow, this is a rare one. We call it Zafilo Espada. That's 27 out of 30, by the way. 500 of all sepid. Giant swordfish. This must be the catch Lord Lake Lord and the others were talking about. I guess I should let them know, just in case. Or the catch Lord Lake Lord and branch manager Sir Dal. That's clearing jewel like beauty. There's no mistaking it. This is a Zafilo Espada. Catching this on your own couldn't have been easy. Eh, you left us in the dust stream. I'm seriously impressed. I wish Estelle and Lloyd could be here to see this. Oh, I did rumors those two were good at fishing. It's true then. Uh, I guess. <laughs> no one that makes me feel closer to them in a weird way. Anyway, I'll be sure to prepare a prize worthy of this accomplishment for you. Thank you. Great success. We still got to check out the top area up there. Uh, interesting is an investigation point here. It's, oh, it's a picture. The cliffs have been worn away over the years by the flow of the tide. Seeing this really makes you feel small in the face of nature. Looking good. I'll send it to Rex when I get a chance. I'll handle this. She's gonna handle it. <laughs> I didn't mean to click you, but we'll send her last game photo. Can I send Rex the photo day? Of course. Hey, how's it hanging? Let me take a peek at the goods. Whoa, not bad. Here's a little something for your troubles. Out of Estelle and Sherizard. Hey, thanks. I mean, I'm curious. Of course, Estelle. <laughs> I mean, Shara wouldn't mind no matter what, and Estelle's, yeah, for that, yeah. Nice pose. Well played. Great! From behind! Ooh, a tough one! A worthy opponent! Okay, a group of three again. Ah, there's a zero order coming up at Machius this way. That's kind of interesting when you think about it. Go Berserk! There's also Infernal plus one hunt. there. So I'll go with a buff. As a first choice. There's no space for me in the middle of this lot. Balance down would be Got too bad. Got a little something for you. Bullseye! Yeah! Except for the terrible damage it did. An opening! It's my turn! Roar! <sighs> Healing strike! So this will, uh, yeah. death blow. It's mine! My turn. I was gonna say, that would earn me back most of my stuff. Right! It's off balance! Take this! So I've got my BP back. Leave it to me. Then I'll be able to Avalon Hearts for the dodge. Triumph! Avalon Hearts! While it's I've got turn. the buffs. There! Here! Just wondering if Laura can leverage that for a battle. No. Nope. Laura! An opening. Laura! An opening! It's off balance! This Take time this. I dodged! Leave it to me! There! They're down! An opening! It's my turn! That was easiest time yet. Everyone okay? We had so many nice lined up abilities that it just enabled us to knock that out. All to find one chest at the end. Celestial Bar Max. That's what we were after! 
Well, okay, we've checked out most of the highway at this point. Let's go this way next. Oh, we didn't do the trial chest yet, but we need to get people for that, so... It was actually more than one explorey area. Okay, count the Avon Hills too, of course. It actually took a long time for us to get things done. I wonder if I've got enough fish to also get myself a reward at this point. <laughs> oh, smash first! This swiftly. Can we go forward to any other areas at this point? Actually, I'm really wondering. Let's go! Raging fire formation! Okay, let's hit that bird. Because it's going first. I can't hear everyone. Cut through! It's down! It's How many mine. death blows? My turn. Hm. It's down. An opening. This is it. Yeah. Everyone will just hit crits. Now that's teamwork. Great job, Ash. As if. This was nothing special. Find my me. Ready. Okay, Fire Sepif has been gained. Another chest awaits at this gate. Is that it? Is that the amount of highway that we've got to go to? 150 of every kind of Sepif and... New West Coast Road stretches on to the distance. No need to go any further. Alright, well, time to get the party started for the stuff there. I guess I'll go back to... They were in the Harbour District, weren't they? And speak to them there. Before we proceed, there is something I'd like to discuss. Of course, what is it? Oh, first of all, I must commend you on your hard work with the survey and the environmental changes. They've gone back to the normal dialogue, haven't they? Hard as it is to admit, you have proven your skills to be on par of our club's own Elite Four. It is only for your talent that we have been able to start drawing up the distribution chart ahead of the schedule. Good to hear. I suppose all that hard work has really paid off. I really cannot thank you enough for everything you've done. I am in your debt. I don't mention it. We should have saved enough for fishing. What's the point in keeping score? Every one of us did what we felt was right. It's fellow anglers. Oh, what a very poetic way of putting it. Fellow anglers, huh? It's been far too long since I truly felt that way. They are patching things up. We know. But I just wanted to speak to you about the fish. I just caught a fish. I get still blue for it, which is ATS 200. I've got two of them equipped. I guess I didn't have enough fish yet. Yeah. So maybe the last reward is when I've actually got all the fish at this point. So it's still blue. Here, Elliot. Have a nice, big, fat upgrade. It's one that Emma's not getting for once. No, what's Emma got? Still blue, of course. <laughs> I could never leave that be. Right, should we go bonding? How do I get back up to the ship again? <laughs> Suddenly just like, oh. How does it, how does work game again? She's down at the bottom. I'm gonna go with Celine. Because she had the most curiousness for me, out of everything that was going on, considering she's literally talking to someone that I have no clue who she's talking to. And yes, I want to see the Vandas too. I could flip a coin on it, except Becca cleaned up my room, so I've got no coins anymore. She took my coin. Actually, that's true, actually. Do I have a coin? She stole my coin. She stole my coin. In a big cleanup of the room that she forced me to partake in. Sad times. Sam, be honest with her, you're bonding with her because she's a cat and she's Emma's cat. But it's... She's talking to something without me even knowing. And I want to know, because I'm a nosy git. Now I'll just do a new save data. I'm sure the PS4 can handle it. I've neglected Kurt. No, I haven't. I had my party loads and relied on him for tough battles. Celine, what could she be doing? She's talking with someone. 
What's going on here? Maybe I should have talked with her. Yes. Hey, Celine, what in the world? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we flying out then? It's close to the village, right? Yes, please. Celine! That blue bird. Where the hell did it go? Close to the village. Could it be Valima? Grianos. With an idea of where the location could be, Reen hurriedly boarded Valimar and began searching for Selene. There you are, Selene. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> Getting distracted there, are we? Celine, let me help. No way, just stay where you are. Don't bet him when I'm training, got it? Wait, what? Let's make an exception this time, shall we? It was you all along, Vida. Would you like to try this again, Reen? Get on with it then, Celine. Ah! This isn't how it's supposed to go down. Oh well. At least we got the music. I don't know what's going on, but if Selene needs my help, she's got it. Who really took part in a challenging practice session? Why am I? That was more satisfying than I thought it would be. We'll meet again soon, you two. Can you explain what that was all about? Wasn't that bluebird? You can be a real nuisance sometimes, you know. At least you didn't entirely ruin things for me. Why'd you come here anyway? Also, it was completely unnecessary to have Valimar send you all this way. You're the one who just disappeared without a word. I was worried about you. I had a feeling you wouldn't have done that without a reason, but I didn't want to take any chances. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry I worried you. I'd be worried if my cat went out on its own and I didn't know where it was all night. Wasn't that Bluebird's feet as familiar? Yes, that was Grianos. An illusion of him anyway. He was destroyed back then, but Vida managed to summon his scattered energy. Recreating a destroyed familiar isn't easy. But I wouldn't put it past Vida to actually bring a new one into existence instead of conjuring an illusion. Huh. Yeah, Vida's definitely powerful enough. They're both very special. Grianos was created using unique mana in order to help Vida reach her full potential as a witch. My role was to assist Emma. I was given the ability to speak and to shapeshift, but I'm not nearly as powerful. So I decided to see to my improvement myself. I see. That's why you disappeared. To train. After what we learned in the Lunar Sanctuary, I could see no other choice. I have my pride and responsibilities as Emma's familiar and as part of Rose's spirit. But that's not all, I suppose. What do you mean? I mean, you're as sharp as a marble, aren't you? Why do you think I went beyond my duty as Emma's familiar to provide assistance to the rest of you? Why did I even go so far as to take on a human form for training? It's because there's someone I want to look after. Duh. Oh. Sometimes I ask myself why I bother. It's worth it, though, despite everything. I fought alongside you in the Civil War and stuck with you even after you graduated. As I learned more about humans, I discovered we shared certain values. I've changed... You changed me. Celine. <laughs> I'll get you for that someday. You better promise me that you won't ever give up. Meow. Okay. I promise. If anything knocks me down, I'll get back up right away so I can keep going. I won't betray the trust you have in me. I have no idea what fate has in store, but I'll keep on fighting. Ah, and I'm sure you'll need my help along the way. That's fine, though. I'll be there for you. But I'm counting you to stand on your own two feet most of the time, Reen Schwarzer. Ah, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, 
after that, Selene turned back into a cat. They took a breather together and then headed back to the Courageous too. My bond with Selene has strengthened. I now give the best chin rubs. Selene's bond is a maximum. Typical. I was having to train in secret, but no, you just had to find me, didn't you? Anyway, there's no time for us to be chatting. We've got the second rivalry coming up. Right, gotta focus. But I like chatting. It's basically all I do. <laughs> right, so uh, what was the crew I need? So that's level 133. We're actually approaching that level. Which is kind of mental. 121, Rena, Lisa, Fee, and Yusus. Literally a whole group change. Where we're going, we don't need... Oh, what did I put in your slot instead? Nothing. Can't have Grail Flash or anything. Disappointing. How much shall I give you? I mean, you've already got shiny and stuff. Guess we give you Galleon Fort. So dodge. We got shining in the group and more. Let's go! Trial Chesto! So this is for a Reen upgrade order. A spiritual presence is emanating from the chest. Let's go fight. A powerful foe. Have at you! It's Magic Knight Heavy Ruby! Who do I want to go with first here? So much HP on the first hit. It's mine. Hm. Got it. Ready? Ha! I mean, they've already got insight ha! for this first attack, whatever it's gonna do. You're done. I'm up. Never mind. It's not allowed to attack. More. <sighs> ah! Healing strike. It's down. It's mine. Battery! What? Shine over us all! Hm. Got it. Ready? Ha! Ha! You're done! I don't know what you're gonna do, but now it's you're sealed, turn. so that's even worse for you. I can hit everyone with that. Divine shield. Protect us! Okay, so we're restoring HP, me. we're restoring CP, we're guarded from all attacks. What else do I want to put on top of this as Jay Kramer follows? Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome, I guess I can analyze. A heavy magic knight that wields a giant battle axe uses the unlimited power from its score to pulverize foes, but can it even pulverize me? Let's go! More helix! Roar! <sighs> helix strike! Now! It's mine! I seem to have yeah. made it so it can't really do anything. Blow him away! Zephyr Tempest! More Tempest of the Zephyrs! Leave it to me! What's your best break ability? Molten Storm? That's not very good. I mean, it's weakest to water, so I guess Walk I'll queue up the spell. Hmm. Got it. Ready? Ha! Probably gonna enhance. Ha! You're done. Very well. I need more CPs. I 
Taking way too many turns. Arcus, activate! Yeah! Poor guy! One day I'll be allowed to attack! Roar! <gasps> this way it does attack and it'll wipe me out. Felix strike! Ha! No, I'll freeze it, please. Make it freezy peasy. That's great. No, I was so close. My turn. <laughs> I was so close. It's got no buffs, so I can't remove positive effects. Okay, so it seems to have actually gained a ridiculous amount of speed. Don't take me lightly. Let's go. Did it use all its turns? Oh man, you made a mistake. Ready? Ha! Ha! You're done. Now. There. Leave it to me. I mean, my CP regeneration just isn't enough. Don't take me lightly. So far, my our turn. enemy has not managed to really land a significant blow. I can literally Let's remove go. its strength for one turn as well. Why it's not? my turn. Why not? Doesn't hurt to do, does it? Roar! <gasps> Helix strike! It's down! It's mine! Yeah. I think everyone's a bit too far out of the way for <laughs> Treasure Shield now. Light the way! Noble Arc! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Ha! Nice bit of AT delay on that. Yeah, well. Level up for Reed and Fee. We get a Rage Quartz. I've already got one on uh, Kurt. So there's one for the super build that I'm planning with Yuna. <laughs> All right. Got it. Yes, yes, yes. I did it. Good times, Yuna. As Reed and Fee level up and Concealing Wind 2 is learned. Stealth 2 turns, Strength speed up, and 4 turns. At least it gets grass finally. That's probably been waiting for ages. Oh, a heavenly gift too can now be used. Gives 25 CP plus insight and more. Fire splits down into the area, healing allies in the area. Marines order Raging Fire X has been upgraded to Crimson Lotus. God, that one was waiting for that quite well. Just doing it on premise? No, that's actually my plan. <laughs> I'm being deadly serious about putting Rage there. I'd have to change your app quite a bit, but I'm just wondering if I have it on the, uh... I have it on as a Master Quartz, or I have it on as... Because the Evasion plus 8% itself is pretty good, too. Give her some... Cool stuff. Always make sure that she casts Shining on herself. And go from there. Big, big.
but I'm thinking like I only want the first thing, which means that Sirius would have to be the top thing. Which would change up a bit. Just put her in range mode, uh, let everyone try to attack her, pump her up with some dodge, put shining on her, give her rage, and then from whatever area, angle she's at, she can just pump out damage. That seems like a good idea to me, because mainly, the mainly the, re the idea comes from the fact that her base master course is not great. So I've been wondering what to change that for, so there we go. Anyway, that's done. Time to take a shower, because I'm used up most of my stuff there. She can't argue against me. I have my plan, my setup for characters. You have your plan and your setup for characters. <laughs> Refreshing. Twas. Useless bathing clothes have been obtained. So is fees. I didn't want them. <laughs> I just wanted to top up their CP. Right, let's get my party built back up again while I go round in my sweep. Of the sweat. And what is Crimson Lotus? That's probably more to the point, isn't it? So it now does damage up by another 5%. For... Did he even really gain that much? <laughs> eh. It'd be interesting when Gold Dragon X gets upgraded, to be perfectly fair. Oh well, it didn't seem like it's a massive amount of upgrade. So, that leaves Ulster, Old Lemaire Road, and Raquel. <laughs> We're getting there. The last locations for the sweep. Gonna talk to Cal. Gotta talk to sheep. Gotta talk. There's no cow, actually. This is the cow. Look, see, it's black and white spots. Yeah, definitely mood. We lost Ariel 17 years ago, and Prince Oliver left for the Imperial Palace shortly after. There was a period of immense sadness. But when we heard of his life in the palace, that sadness and loneliness became pride and joy. We were so very happy for him. I still find myself wishing that we'd taken a photo of him and his mother. Some pretty brutal monsters have been hanging around lately, that's why I've been called in. I haven't been able to lay eyes on even one of them. My Gabriel keeps losing the scent halfway. Oh, maybe it's not a monster that lives in the area. You're a good hunter, are you? I want to see your skills. I've been hunting with them for 50 years now. I like to think that I know all there is to know about the beasts here. As I thought, maybe it's not a monster that lives in the area. Wait, there's a monster nearby? I mean, I did kill a cryptid. Is there another, another, another monster? The incident took place a little before Sandy was born. I still found myself wishing that we'd taken a photo of him and his mother. Yes. Prince Oliver's mother, Ariel, taught us a great deal about cooking. When his highness came to visit, he would always be peeking in the kitchen. He certainly kept Muller busy. Ah, these kind of memories are flooding back recently, but we won't be able to see him like that ever again, will we? Um, Reen, should we tell her? I feel bad for her, but we still can't say anything about Prince Oliver. Even if it isn't ideal, we just have to keep what we know to ourselves for now. Ah, uh, you have a point. So... If Oliver went around and did a tour revealing himself to people, could that sway people to not join the war? Considering part of the reason is to... I'm guessing the curse would interact to stop that, so Oliver's not doing it. I to hear about the prince has subconsciously stopped bringing up Ariel. We lost two important members of our community. That's something that will never change. They're like family to us. I can make a magnificent party place. We don't need anything there. You do wonder what the curse will allow you to actually get away with and what the curse won't allow you to get away with in terms of manipulating fate. A monster has been wrecking the vineyard lately. It's been really bad and I've had this nagging feeling there wasn't any ordinary monster. It doesn't even bear thinking how terrible it would be if they attacked the town. Someone got a quest for me here. I'll go kill it. The vineyard's out that way. No. 
Okay. There's no actually marker. A lot of bars, though. Let's talk to you. Well, I've finally been drafting the army like the others. I got a call that papers just the other day. Thing is, I don't think avenging the prince's death is enough reason to make this war any more palatable to my mother. Still, I have to go all the same. I don't really have a choice to opt out now, do I? Like, we'll have to take care of these fields while I'm gone. She can be a little spacey sometimes, but she's got a good head on her shoulders in the end. All these fields you see here are ouches. Ow, ox, ow, 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 ow. They produce some mighty fine grapes too. We used to make brandy. Ox being kind of down today, so I'll just have to give these grapes plenty of TLC for him. That should help cheer him up a little. I'll give these grapes lots of love so they'll grow up extra delicious. Oh, oops, I forgot to tell Uni I was going to help in the fields today, huh? Shall I go tell Uni for you? <laughs> one day, one of these sheep will just woof, and he'll be the wolf in sheep's clothing. Anything can happen in area very Oh, anything can happen in trails. There's more to the point. Hey, kids. Oh, good timing. There's something we need to talk to you guys about. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, did something happen? We got a message a little while back. You'll never guess who it was from. It was Toval. He's alive. I don't know how he survived that explosion. It must have been some kind of miracle. He's laying low right now, though, so we have to keep it all a secret. Wow, that's great. It's a good thing you told them to keep it under wraps. We wouldn't want word to get out about Prince Oliver, after all. Yeah, but I'm glad Toval let them know he's okay. We may not know what you're all working on, but we're behind you all the way. So, you know, good luck. Yeah, at least let's cheer you on. Thanks, guys. Your support means a lot to us. This goes out to my adoring fans. I would have liked to see Ayn, too. Oh, well, I look forward to seeing her next time. I want to see Ayn selling it, too. Tobal's been visiting every now and then, ever since we first met four years ago. I'm really glad that he's okay. He must be very busy, but I hope to see him again soon. Do you have anything for me in the shop? I guess we've got to give him the gift soon. And how long the music skip, then, really? Welcome. My dad's been drafted. <laughs> I thought he would leave without saying anything, but he showed me a letter before he left. It was something I sent him on his birthday when I was a kid. He said he's going to take it with him as a good luck charm. What a thing to do when he's heading out for war, huh? We don't really do this kind of stuff, you see. I just had to laugh. The two of us were standing there totally awkward. They finally emotioned. Well, Ulster being quite small as it is, I'm going to go a different way around. I usually go the other way around. So let's talk to Mayor Mathim. This monster has ascertained that our youthful residents have gone and has taken the chance to attack the fields. It cannot be allowed. I need to think up. I need to think of our plan for the residents' future. So this will be a quest in the future, won't it? After all, I am the mayor. We need to think about some sort of plan against the monster. It is the duty of the mayor to secure the well-being of the residents. After all, <gasps> you're not in a barrel. Get on your barrel. How would the alcohol be good? I'm sorry, have you seen Blanc? Just when I need her, she's nowhere to be found. Oh, honestly, it's inconvenient for me that Blanc has a tendency to do things at her own pace. She's probably running around the grape fields again. Well, you know where she is then. Go. 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 She's always been one to take things at her own pace. I really do wonder what goes on in that head of hers. Quite out loud, though. She's not a kid anymore. She should at least have the sense to let me know what she's doing. Today, we're scheduled to open up a cask that Dad sealed 15 years ago. I was getting nervous before we opened up a cask. We're proud of our entire selection, but this is definitely on the higher end, so... Brand new flavor can vary so wildly, depending on the blend. I want to make Dad proud. Our work here deserves our best effort. Each step is important, but it all culminates here. The blending stage after the cask is opened up. Dad's made the name Steinrose mean something, so we need to make sure it still does when he returns. Well, it tastes the same. All connoisseurs of the brandy say this was during the wartime. Will they know from the taste? Probably. Prince Oliver's mother, Ariel, was such a strong, kind-hearted woman. I can never forget just how well she treated my wife and I, or all the home-cooked meals she made for us. Ah, oh, the best you'd ever find. But now we're all left with is our own loss. Even poor Prince Oliver. If I could see him again, would I even have the nerve to face him? 
Now's the time we settle things for our late Prince and Ariel. If I were only a little younger, I'd be out on the campaign right now. Perhaps he hasn't shown it in recent days, but my husband's always been a gentle soul who awaits nothing more than a harvest festival. It wasn't until he started discussing the war with the mayor that his head got all mixed up and it stirred him into such a passion. He suddenly grew so ill-tempered, so quick to anger. It's been a major cause of worry for me. I think this year's Harvest Festival being put on hold might have been the last straw for him. He just loved it so much, you see. I love it when the conversation is just ordered the other way round. With a slight change of sentence structure. But it probably is realistic, if that's a worry. Father Nogaro always seems to be brooding over something with the situation being what it is. I completely understand why. He shares his thoughts with the townspeople and what's going on with the mayor must be taking a toll on him. I want to help calm everyone's fears and worries a bit. I need to think harder about what I can do. Conditions just get heavier and heavier. Everyone is so mentally and emotionally exhausted, especially the poor children. I need to see if there isn't something more that I could do for everyone. Well, I made inquiries at the Cathedral and Heimdall many times. It seems the only possible way for people like the mayor to return to normal is to undergo some major emotional or psychological shock. As far as I've heard, it doesn't seem all that simple a process. Many people in town have already left due to the draft. I think my mission here is to help return the mayor to how he was before. Is any of these quests... <laughs> Are we just finding out future quest lines at this point? I don't know. This is such a big sweep. Like, I think we've legitimately been doing a sweep for eight hours. It's quite a big sweep. Anyone up at the grave? Any extra flowers? No. I thought I saw someone behind there then. We're almost done, yeah. But I'm surprised by late sometimes. Papa and Mama are working at a place called Aragon. It's really tough, so they can't come home yet. I hope they don't forget about me. I miss my Papa and Mama. I'm so lonely. No, no, actually, I'm not lonely. I have the sheep to keep me company. The Aragon mine. The sheep is gone, though. He's so laid back. I've never even seen him run. Why'd you have to? I just hang back as well, you know? Live my easy life of sheepdom. So that was Ulster. We'd definitely be in every building. Yes. Next on the list, Oldermere Road. It's Old Road 1 and the Rest Lodge itself. Oh, literally it's actually both at the Rest Lodge. I may as well just bonk these guys in the head for a little bit of extra cash money. And when I say a little, I mean a little. I mean, we made 100 out of those three. Hundreds? Yeah, there's just the guy outside it. Or a person outside it, because the guy outside it's in Ulster. <laughs> Menacing man runs at poor people with sword drawn. Adam sure seems to have taken a line to the rest lodge. It's no surprise, Adel's very nice, and it seems like even Jilban will play with him on occasion. I feel bad that he's bothering them when they must be busy, but it's also nice to know that there are such kind people around here. And just as well he's making friends, we might not be back or be able to go back home for a while. Okay, I think this is how Adel said to do it. Grow flowers, grow! Grow flowers, grow! Yep, yep, she said if you give them water like that every single day, the most amazing pretty flowers will bloom. Isn't that cool? Hey, Mummy, do you think we could get flowers like this back home? I don't know. Maybe we can ask Adel what she thinks. When she gets back, she might give you some seeds so you can grow some of these yourself. Yeah, yeah, let's ask her. Hey, guess what? Adel taught me all about the proper way to water plants. I wonder if flowers would even grow in my village if I take care of them like she told me. I'll ask Adel when she gets back. Maybe she'll know. 
Nadal's out running errands, so I'm watering her plants for her today. It's easy work, luckily. I'm sure even Artem could do this. Good old kiddo. Hasn't gone astray. What's this? It's another quest! Not the last place I'm looking. Oh, if it isn't the Ashen Chevalier in class 7 2. I take it you're reporting for the Cosmo Times right now. Actually, I come to Grace here. But, um, things sure are taking a while. I guess this means the deal's not going too well. So Grace is upstairs. Alright, I've got to say that's got me kind of curious. Is that so? Well, it's not exactly unrelated to you all, if I'm being honest. So if you'd like, why don't you head upstairs? We'll do that. It might be worth seeing who's upstairs. Grace is working on a deal with a certain someone right now. Might even have to do with the Ashen Chevalier if you catch my drift. Perhaps you should take a look around upstairs. What's going on up there? Welcome to the Nose Rest Lodge. Gosh, I feel so nervous being left in charge of the place. Ada isn't here right now. She left on an important errand this morning. I think she's meeting up with a friend in Leeds, but that's about all I know. The least we can do is keep this place up and running while she's gone. After all, she's done for us. If it was Vadal, me and the family would probably be sleeping in some ditch somewhere by now. The least we can do is keep this place up and running. So let me know if there's anything you need. Depends, what do you have to buy? Slightly sweet walnut pie. I can make the pieces myself. Whoosh. I'm banking. Well, I don't even need to really exchange at this point either because I've still got 80k in the bank. I actually have got 89k. I've been making more because of quests. Speaking of... I will save because I have no clue what awaits me here. Let's find out. With our PS5 future sounds.